everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and there's people outside. <laughs> there's people outside my window right now playing Pokemon. I can see them. They're not looking in my window yet. I'm gonna be quiet. I wonder what they're catching. Probably nothing good. Nothing good in my neighborhood. There's no Squirtles or Bulbasaurus. Bitch, there's only a Pidgey. Good luck! Rachel says, can you prove that you have King George III's range? <laughs> I'm too shy to sing in front of the camera. Don't make me sing! Don't make me sing! I don't remember the words. <laughs> remember we made an arrangement I can't do that. I can't do the... I can't trill my R's. I'll never be King George the Third. <sighs> Maggie says, how do you feel about Harambe? Harambe? Am I saying it right? I guess I've never said that name out loud. I've always said Harambe. I don't support the murder of gorillas. How much do you charge to tile a bathroom? Looking for a best price? If good, the job is yours, mate. I have never tiled anything. Though the origin of my name, Tyler, is maker of tiles, tile person, person who tiles things, perhaps a, a grouting moment, if you will. I am very interested in tiling. If you need me to tile, perhaps I will come tile for you. I once did a video, maybe like six years ago, seven years ago. The challenge for the video was to make a video about Julia Styles, and I instead made it a infomercial for a company called Julia's tiles. It was a character whose name was Julia and she tiled things and I didn't have a wig so I just put on a grocery bag. It was, listen, it was a different time on YouTube, okay? <laughs> things were different then. I'm gonna link to that video in the description below. I think I put it on my Tumblr before. Spaceship Oakley wants to know, what book do I recommend on Audible this month? As you guys know, I recommend a book on audible.com every single month. If you use audible.com slash Tyler Oakley, you will get your first month free. They have hundreds of thousands of titles from all different types of genres. This month I am recommending Barrel Fever by David Sedaris. If you haven't heard of David Sedaris' book spoken out loud on an audiobook, they're so good. His voice is incredible for storytelling. I was laughing out loud multiple times on a flight because of this book. Go get it. Again, audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. You get your first month subscription free. Enjoy. Thanks Audible for sponsoring this video. I love you. Amelia says, what's your reaction when you see that people have your photo on their profile on social media? I honestly am like flabbergasted by it. It's very sweet and kind. When those people always reply to me on Twitter, I start to recognize who they are because I am self-obsessed. And the people who do that, I start to recognize like that. Do you like your Muslim fans? Of course. Who would say no? I guess garbage people. Garbage people would say no. I'm not a garbage person. Not that garbage, not that the, like the garbage man is a bad person, but like people that are garbage. See what I'm saying? Jonathan says, the Olympics are on featuring people with a talent, so why are you trending you talentless? I don't say that word. <laughs> yeah, sure, the Olympics are on, but have you seen Michael Phelps fucking do this? Watch. Yeah, bitch, one at a time. Suck my dick. John says, what was your favorite thing about the Hearts of Reality event? So a couple of weekends ago, I went to an event called Hearts of Reality, which is a bunch of reality TV stars from like Big Brother and Survivor and Amazing Race and all these shows coming together and raising money for an organization called Give Kids the World, which focuses on supporting kids with life-threatening illnesses and their families. So we all came together, we raised money for them, we did a meet and greet where all the proceeds went toward the organization. And my favorite part of the event was there was one day where we all dressed up like pirates and princes and got to hang out with all the kids for the day. We went around and asked them for their autographs and we got to play games with them. It was just so much fun. And when a lot of these kids are faced with like harsh realities in their everyday life, I feel like the magic of being a kid is stolen from them. And when they get to go to Give Kids the World Village, they really get to feel like a kid again. And I really love that. If you want to get involved with the organization, I'm doing a little fundraiser for them with my buddy Corey, who I went on The Amazing Race with. If you want to donate, the link is below. It's an organization that does a lot of good and I support that. Emma Blue says, can you copy this yoga pose? Good luck. I don't think I can do a handstand. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we fucking go, let's do this. Oh, oh my god. I think I got it. Oh, oh, what was that you had to say about the Olympians having talent? 
What now? Tia says, what is your opinion of foot fetishes? Unsurprisingly, I have an entire chapter about foot fetishes in my book. Steph says, do you remember me? I have always wondered what happened to this child. Thank God you and the child are still with us. Billy says, have you ever tried to grow a beard? Is it patchy or full? The only thing I can grow on my face because I'm seven years old is this and this. Some guys can do a full scruff moment and I'm like, Yes, ma'am, daddy, sir, but this is not a face that can pull that. Kylie says, what heart emoji is your favorite? My most used one is the yellow one. Let me know in the comments which heart emoji you use with your Twitter handle, and maybe I'll tweet you that heart emoji just to say, hey. I hope you have a good day. I will see you guys soon. Podcast, person of the week, my last video, etc. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, good luck with your lives. Bye.